emotions. He's not swayed by the external forces. He sways the external forces. He maximizes the thoughts, the thinkings, the patterns, the habits, the beliefs that go to work for him. Better man choosing to inhabit the domain of your masculine nature within so that you never become a slave to the conditions of society. This is the Better Man channel where it is all about reclaiming our sovereignty, becoming the man that we know we are capable of becoming. My name is Jaren, a former guy who had no direction, but I've chosen to begin to discover, explore what it truly means to be a man. This week, I'm talking about occupying our position as men and occupying our masculine nature, beginning to discover who we truly are. And today, I want to talk about our mind. I believe... The will to retreat inwardly and sit upon the throne of our thought is the linchpin to our success. Retreating inwardly and beginning to disentangle all the garbage that is within and, and remove that so we begin to find the true treasure that, that resonates, that burns within us as men is imperative for us to truly find our direction, our success, our uh the life that we're created to live. But many a man is never going to take the time to retreat and really to contemplate, to diffuse all the, the, the warring negativity going within. And therefore, he's always going to be sh chasing shiny new distractions, new comforts, new pleasures, trying to be satisfied by the external things because he will never be satisfied internally because he's never taken the time to know who he is. As men wanting to reclaim our sovereignty, reclaim our path, and have the autonomy to direct our own lives, we've got to begin to retreat inwardly, to begin to know who we truly are, and seek the resolutions within that will give us the solutions to overcome all the negativity that have been depleting us from our very resources as men, stripping away our masculine nature, stripping away our strengths. We've got to take the time to truly begin to discover, explore, understand who we are. Many a man are never going to take the time, so they're always going to be retreating externally. They've never contemplated their selves. They've never contemplated their power, their will, their strength. They've never contemplated and begin to understand the capacity they have to be men. We hold... This amazing innate power within us to become what we were created to be. To sit upon the throne of our thought and to remove, to minimize the things that are limiting us. And to begin to maximize and, and cultivate the thoughts that are actually serving us to improve our lives and help us to become better men. If we're honest, I guarantee many of us take very little time, if any, to actually begin to meditate, contemplate, think, cultivate our strengths, our ideas, our beliefs, where they even originated from. Are they working for us or serving us? Many times we get frustrated at our, our life and the consequences of, but we never take time to begin to examine and expect where our behaviors come from, where our thinking, our beliefs, our ideologies originate from. Our thinking is always going to lead to our actions and our actions are going to shape our environment. If we're tired of the environment that we're in, we've got to begin to examine our thoughts. We've got to retreat inwardly, sit upon the throne of thought, the power that we as men hold to either become rich in our resources or impoverished by the conditions and norms of society. We've got to take a look at our thoughts because that's going to give us the answer. Are we controlled by our thoughts or are we controlling our thoughts? And this leads to even a greater answer. If I'm not controlling my thoughts, then am I actually living my own life? Or am I living the life that I've been conditioned to believe and think in? A man, king of his kingdom, a man, master of his own fate, is a man that sits upon his throne of thoughts, begins to construct his own life according to his beliefs, his values, his morals, his thinkings. He's not swayed by the external forces. He sways the external forces. He maximizes the thoughts, the thinkings, the patterns, the habits, the beliefs that go to work for him. He eradicates, minimizes the things that come against him. He sways outside forces. He's not easily swayed by the external conditions of society. 
Men, reclaiming our sovereignty, reclaiming our position, occupying our throne, becoming king of our kingdom so that we dictate and direct our own course and we are not so easily swayed. We take the time to retreat inwardly, begin to know our own capacities, our own capabilities, our own abilities to direct our own life. Men, taking ownership of who we are, our true nature, becoming the men that society needs to see, the examples that our communities need to see, the, the men that our peers need to see. Taking ownership of our life so that we can begin to shape the external around us. Take the time to get to know yourself, to discover your true nature, become the man that you were born to be. You guys will hear from me next episode.